Hey guys, Johnny Nerd out here. Today I want to be making a video going over all the new Bafang displays for the new CAN bus style motor that was just recently released. Recently is very relative because it depends on when you're watching this video, obviously. And this is just the, the displays that I have on hand right now. I think I have eight or nine I want to go over today. There's going to be more displays being released as time goes on, uh, and there will be more in depth where this is just kind of a brief overview of these displays to give you an idea of what they look like how they kind of feel things like that and basic functionality i'm not going to do a deep dive on these things okay so here we got the t i'm sorry the c245 so it's going to show you battery percentage not battery voltage your speed your pedal assist level which is not one through it's not numbers but it's uh i don't know something else um, and then at the very bottom, we could toggle through this little toggle switch here, find how many watts we're using in real time, estimated range, what your cadence is, how long you've been riding, your trip, and your odometer, max speed, average speed, and then watts. Okay, pretty basic display, but it's nice and small. Looks kind of similar to... 500C, 600C, albeit a little bit less functionality. It does have a USB charge port. Looks like USB-C. It's got a large clasp here, so it'll mount pretty much any bike. That's huge. Two connectors back here, one for the toggle switch and one for the display. Both of these are removable. Okay, this is the VD618. This is a standalone toggle switch here. This one's got a bigger toggle switch, a lot more buttons. Nice color display. Toggle between the pedal assist levels. Let's see what information does. Trip, max speed, average speed. Does show your voltage, which is really nice. Looks like that's gonna be your amp readout. Your watt readout, a little bit more precise. Must be the, oh, your time, how long you've been writing for, and your odometer. Okay, so that's kind of cool. Let's see. Okay, so this is a nice, nice big display. It does have a USB charge port on the bottom. USB-C, I don't know if you can see that. But yeah, nice. This is going to be a nice color display. Mounts on the center. Okay, so this is the VD03. This is by far the smallest display. It does not have a USB charge port, so if that's important to you, don't look at this one. This one is going to be, if you want the smallest, most discreet display, there's just one button up here, and then you actually press the screen to go up and down. Plus and minus are actually the screen. I think this is going to be Bluetooth. Um, confirm before you purchase it where you get it, but I think this will be Bluetooth, so you will be able to pair this to the Bafang Go Plus app to see more information. But this is very simplistic. If you just want a very simple display, this is the way to go. It's going to show your speed and a rough battery gauge. Okay, this is the P860. It's going to have the secondary toggle switch here. It's going to actually show you voltage, which is nice. So you can toggle between time, odometer, average speed, max speed, trip, and time. It's pretty standard stuff. Let's see. It looks like there is a USB charge port here. It's an actual USB port. You don't see those too often. Usually it's a USB-C. This is a full USB port from the 1990s. Let's see. How do we get into the advanced menu? Okay, we got the display here. Basic settings, like language and system. Let's see if there's any other assist levels. So you can set how many assist levels you have. User defined, three, five, or nine. That's I like that. Set your wheel, set your battery. I like that. Let's see what this is. 
uh, whether you want it to be voltage or percentage I would always say set it to voltage power indicator it's going to show you how much power you're using Okay, so this is going to be a little bit more of a step up towards the premium display. If you want something bigger, this is going to be mounted on your center stem, right in the center of your handlebars. This is going to be, again, another premium display. Okay, so here we have the Egg Rider C1. This is the, well, it's new now. This is early 2025. It's early now, but uh, it may not be early when you're seeing this. This may be late. If you're watching this in the year 2055, obviously this is outdated stuff. Probably can't even watch it now. Um, so this is going to show you... different pedal assist levels. That's pretty cool. Uh, you can toggle between range. Kill this is what I would love to be on. Kilowatt per mile average. So this is going to show you real time what you're averaging so you get a really accurate gauge of range and all that efficiency. That's cool. It shows you battery voltage, trip, and motor temp. I don't know if that's going to be supported or not for this, but I'd be interested. That's cool. How much rider wattage you're putting in? I don't know how accurate that's going to be either. I'm not sure what this error battery is, is showing, but uh, we'll have to get that squared away. Uh, max amperage, max power, a lot of information on this. Let's see if we could get into a, yeah, all the information as you just toggle it. Way more information than a lot of people are going to need, but if you're a nerd, this is the stuff you want to have. Egg Rider is the nerd's display, so if you're like, eh, I'm not really quite sure, blah, 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 but I am a nerd, you want to get the Egg Rider. It's just, it's going to show you everything. Remaining watt hours, how many cycles you put through your battery, rider information. This is just software stuff. So yeah, Egg Rider, they're just known for giving you tons of data. If that's what you're into, this is what you want. Uh, there is no USB charge port on here, which is a bummer. What you lack with that, you get with tons of data. Okay, here we got the EKD01. I'm going to leave this little film on. Sorry, guys. Uh, I really like this display. I liked it for the UART versions, and I think this is going to be a good seller for the CAN bus version as well. Um, has a lot of information. The UART version has a USB port, and so does this one. So that's really good to, good to see. This is a nice color display. It's not crazy big, but it is, it's like a good blend between the size you want and the size you need that you could actually see everything and still have it not be this giant tablet screen on your handlebars. Uh, you can see it's got a lot of information, which is good. Um, you know, if you're into that, which I am, so I don't know, if you're not, then maybe it's not good for that. Um, but it also has Bluetooth, so obviously you can be able to use the Bifango Plus app on this. Um, I want to see if you're able to check, um, I believe you're supposed to show voltage. Yes, so it does show voltage. Yes, so you could show voltage or percentage. Always change it to voltage, people. Don't, uh, don't have it set to percentage. It's never accurate. Unless you're going to have like a, a, a CAN interface battery with this, it's just not going to be very accurate. But you can see this is just going to have a lot of information. Boost gear. There's just a lot of options with this one. This is good. So this is um, and this isn't like a very expensive display. That's why I like this one. Is it's pretty affordable, and it's like a good. It's a good um, good value display. You get a lot for what you pay for it. So yeah. Okay, here we got the DPC zero eight zero. This is a nice small display again. If you're looking for something minimal on your handlebars. This is the way to go. Um, it's going to give you basic information. It's not touch screen. Um, it does have a USB charge port right here. So you can plug in things, charge your phone, etc. It's USB-C. 
Um, it's going to show you things like speed, trip, max speed, average, your cadence. I don't know how accurate the calories is going to be. Uh, this one has percentage for the battery, not voltage, which I'm not a huge fan of. They could toggle through them by pressing the power button. It'll kind of go through and show you different different information. And you press and hold the plus and minus to get you into the menus. Things like that. So uh, this is going to be more on the affordable side. Um, you see it's basically a black and white. It does have a little bit of color, but it's mainly a black and white display. So this is going to be a budget display if you want something small. Okay, and here we got the DPC-010. This is a Bafang OEM display, just like the 080 is. You can see, this one's definitely a lot nicer. This would be the premium version of the other one. Uh, you're going to have different pedal assist levels. Let's see what the different information shows. Max speed, average speed, your range, cadence, time. Uh, let's see if this one has a USB charge port. Yes, it does. It's got to be USB-C. Yes, it is. You can change the different themes. You can make it look a little bit different. How many different modes you want. If you want to reset the trip, which is nice. Um... So here we go. This is where all we got all our different settings are. This is this is pretty nice. This allows you to make set changes right here in the display. You don't need to connect to the Bafang Go Plus app. That's nice. So unfortunately, I'm not seeing a way to change this to voltage, which I would really like to see. But let's see if we could find it somewhere else. So hopefully that is a setting that you could change, but again, we'll have to we'll have to see how, how time plays out on this one. But this is the nice this this is a premium display from Bafang. This is the Bafang branded one. This is a center mount, so this would mount right at the begin right in the middle of your handlebar on your stem. Mm -hmm.